Hello, you guys. Welcome to my channel, Jesus Wants You. I'm the Watchman on the Wall, Nikki Pratt. Listen, um, I wanted to say first, um, happy belated Thanksgiving to all of you. I didn't get a chance to come on here yesterday and wish you a happy belated Thanksgiving, so I'm saying it now. I hope you had a blessed one, joyous, full of love, laughter, and giving God thanks, glory, honor, and praise, whom it is all about in the first place. But on a more somber note, you guys, I, as you see in the title, one of our very own, I just recently did a video kind of like this, but not to this extent of what I'm going to go into. Um, Ambassador, many of you know Ambassador Chantrell Davis. She is a dear, close friend of mine. Uh, she lost her mother. Her mother passed on yesterday on Thanksgiving. Yes. And I'm um, just saddened to have to report that, um, but I'm on here for many reasons. And there's been a revelation that has been um, given to me, and I, I am just, I just want to see the outcome. I won't go into details. But all I can say is this, and what who the, the the audience that I'm speaking to, my followers, and especially especially the followers of Ambassador Chantrell Davis. Okay, she's a true woman of God, one who loves the Lord with all her heart, mind, body, and soul, one who goes hard for the Word of God. One who does preach the word in season, in a timely fashion, in obedience. One of the Lord's true vessels of Christ. Okay, preaching, prophesying, and not proper lying. Okay? Never <clears throat> campaigning for money. As we know that a lot of prosperity gospel preachers do. A lot of them do. <clears throat> But I wanted to share with especially Ambassador Chantrell Davis' followers, mine as well. She lost her mother. So we all know that when we lose someone, there is a need. And all I can tell you is given no details, there is a great need. And I'm just, she didn't ask me to do this. I'm taking this up on my own self, okay, to do this. As followers of Christ, we follow Christ no matter what, okay? And with that said, you guys know that I nor her, neither of us, we, we never burden any of our subscribers, any of our followers, so to speak, of, of any of problems. We are true vessels of the Lord, okay? We bring the word asking for nothing. You don't see that often. And YouTube ministries are a little bit different than your church, the four walls of the church ministry. Not that we're better than anybody, but we're a little bit different. And what it is a little bit different because you can look at us on YouTube you can go subscribe elsewhere. You can graze. You can get fed anywhere. But many of you are followers of ours because we're speaking into your life for a reason in a season and in this season for you. The word being unchecked, unhindered. Okay? We have nothing, no agendas, no hidden agendas, only but for the souls of Christ. We, as vessels of the Lord, just like you, we may look like we got it all together, but sometimes, sometimes we just like you. We have bills. We have real problems. We have needs. We, we have things. Y'all don't know. Looking behind that screen, you don't know what we go through on a day-to-day -day basis. You just see us coming on here smiling. You don't know what goes on behind the scenes, like uh, uh, what it takes to keep 
these videos going or Wi-Fi or um, the things that we need or what we got going on in our own life. Like you heard me say before, sometimes we minister and sometimes we need to be ministered to. But you have to keep in mind that as we give the word free, as the Lord Jesus Christ did, we ask for nothing in return. But when there is a need to come about, okay, all we do is give, 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 never asking for nothing that's in return. And that is the same thing that Paul did. Paul was a tent maker. Paul worked. Paul had a job. Nikki Pratt has a job, okay? But Paul all the time said that, you know, he asked for nothing. And there was a church, the church of Philippi helped him all the time, but he didn't allow the church of Corinth to give into his bosom. Why? Before the sake of ministering to them. Why? Because they probably was hurt by uh, 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 preachers spiritually raping them out of their money. But I'm telling you, what I'm telling you people today is there is a time where you're, the vessels of the Lord, they bring you word by the Holy Spirit. Not that you follow us. You follow the Spirit in us. Let me say that. I want to make sure I say that. Because you don't follow us. You follow the Spirit in us to be able to follow us as vessels of the Lord. Let me say that. So, my followers, when we in need, can we count on you? Because we as true ministers of Christ have shown our faithfulness in bringing you word, prophesying, words of encouragement, words to lift you up, words to uh, of warning, okay? How far do you follow the ministry? How far would you follow Ambassador Chantrell Davis? How far would you follow her? Until we say there is a need and then all of a sudden you back off and then you won't give because it's better to give than to receive. Again, I'm not doing what Prophet Joe Blow would do. See, because see, there are many people that will follow Prophet Liars. And as and, and soon as Prophet, I'm not going to call no names, but as soon as Prophet Joe Blow say, I see a husband for you, I see a house, that car, I see a new business, a new job, give me $1,000 so that word could be activated in your life. And I have seen it with my own eyes, people reaching into their pockets, coming out, with, and these preachers are naming, you know, amounts of money, and $1,000, $500 when the Lord says, let not the left hand know what the right hand is doing. People will follow people like that. Amen. So my question is, in short of how, and I'm, I'm just going to be, I may lose subscribers for this, but I have to be obedient, and I'm being bold in what I say right here. If you honestly follow somebody, if if you honestly follow the ministry, I want to know if I lose a subscriber because of this, then I can boldly say this, you was you were not a follower anyway. Because if we as vessels bringing you the word study given, never asking for anything, and we all are one body, why when a need arises, and this is a true need, why is it that we can't give? I'm not naming no specific amount. And when I, I spoke to if 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 when I spoke to you about the church being different from YouTube ministry, when you give on YouTube, it's between you, your heart, and the Lord. In the church. Most times, not all the time, in a church, most times, especially when you're dealing with, I'm talking about prosperity gospel preachers, when you're dealing with prophet liars, they're going to name an amount, and then everybody in there knowing what you got, and you coming up to them. The Lord say, that, re that reward there gets nothing. You get no blessings. 
but it is better to give than to receive. And again, I, we, we don't come on here petitioning for nothing. If we petition for anything, we petition for souls. We go hard for the Lord. And a, a, a laborer is worth his wages, okay? So we are the body. When the head hurts, we all hurt. What it means to follow, to go, or to come after a person or thing proceeding ahead to move or travel behind or come after in time or of order. You could be a follower of a person on Twitter, which leads to many roads biblically, but to be a follower of someone in a YouTube ministry, especially speaking from the Lord, but a ministry that is preaching, teaching, prophesying under the leading and the obedience of the Lord Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit, that is life. But we know that many roads lead to what? Death. His word is life. See, we have many followers, but to what does it mean to really follow? Would you follow me up until I say I have a need? Would you follow Minister Ambassador Chantrell Davis up until she say she have a need, up until you see there is a need to be met, and then you say, uh-oh, now they asking for money, uh, I can't do it. I boldly say that if you do that, you was never a follower never a follower because we are a body and when there is a need we need to come together as a body i challenge you listeners of ambassador chantrell davis as followers of ambassador chantrell davis i challenge you to step up to the plate give back into the bosom of a woman of god who goes hard for the lord and for you, and to bring in you the word in season, rhema words, warnings, prophecy, asking never for nothing. None of us, never for nothing. The Bible says you shall know them by their fruit. What does that mean? What do they gather? What do we gather? You don't. We don't all the time come on here uh, speaking and, and, and prophesying and talk about. You know, we need you to send in money. Give me money. Give me money. We don't do that. We preach and teach as Paul did. Paul, for the sake of the ministry, did not accept money from the church of Corinthians. And this is my conviction because maybe in that time there were, as we have in today, people uh, that was spiritually ministers, pastors that were spiritually raping the church. And for the sake of that, Paul did not accept any money. But he even said um, to the church of Philippi, he said he didn't ask them, but they gave to him. But Paul had a job, as Nikki Pratt do. Nikki has a job. But Nikki Pratt at some time also would have need that, again, none of us ever burden you guys with. But I'm just saying, the question is what the Lord showed to me today was how, how much do we follow? What does it really mean to follow? At what point do you say, oh, I'm not going to follow you anymore? To follow means just that, to follow me. If there is a need, you there, you there for me. You're not against me in that time of need because you are followers. You are followers to her ministry. You are followers to the ministry. Um, you shall know them by their fruits. What are we gathering for? Laboring for the, for the souls of Christ. Many times I come on here, I've been off work, sometimes don't even be in eight, hungry, sleepy, tired, and we still go hard for the Lord. We don't come on here campaigning for money. We're not prosperity preachers, but if Prophet Joe Blow, again, people would give to that, and they would follow that. Why? Because it's something that they want to hear, and we shouldn't have to pay for money. I'm not asking and campaigning the saying, send some money so uh, you can get something, a, a house or a car or something in, in return. That's proper line. You have the benefit on YouTube to go wherever you want to graze. 
This is different. Okay? We should give from our heart, never grudgingly. So I challenge the followers of Ambassador Chantrell Davis. All I can say is there is a need. Our sister in Christ who lost the mother, there is a need. Prayers? Prayers, yes. If you have, and the Bible says, if you know you have, give it. I'm not naming no amount. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to do that. It's between you and the Lord. If you have, give it. But don't harden your heart to say, yeah, I listen to her all the time, but <laughs> not that, again, not that we, uh, we don't do this every day, but when there is a need and we, we, when we preach, we teach, we prophesy, not that we expect nothing in return. Do somebody understand where I'm coming from? I, I feel like I'm singing a song here. Is somebody understanding where I'm coming from? I, I, I hope I'm being, I'm making sense here. Because if, again, you're teaching, you're prophesying, you're preaching, and you're encouraging, and, you, and you, you're putting up videos of prayers and things like that, you study giving. Now, I've had people, let me tell you something. I had people in my lifetime during, during my ministry, in my ministry, reach out to me, again, I, never getting anything, never getting not one red penny to reach out to me and say they need, 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 need when I'm already giving. And, and I said this recently, it is hard to give if you're not getting anything in the ministry. And them be the very ones that would say, um, you know, um, I asked for, I, 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 you know, I had somebody to ask me to, to uh, send them money for uh, some. They needed a whole lot of, if you're not getting anything in the ministry, it's hard. Okay, so we got to give the word and study give, give, give. And then when you need give, but when a need arises for that vessel that's bringing you the word, that's giving all the time, a break's got to come up and we can't, we, we can't get anything in need. Now, not, not, not want, because I, I'm going I'm to say this again. When money comes in, when money comes in this ministry right here, it goes back into the ministry. And I didn't say it before. I'm going to say this again. If somebody, because it can be done. The Lord is not against it. A, a man's, uh, uh, we labor, but we are worth our labor in wages. Okay, I said that backwards, but y'all know what I'm saying. If I have said this before, if you're going to give to me, then put that in. If you give on PayPal, put that in the ministry. I mean, put that in, put a note in there. Nikki, this is not for the ministry. I just want to bless you. Let me say this. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, Lord. Let me say this. I'm speaking of a need here. But I'm sure, I, I, can you reach down in your heart? I'm sure Minister Davis has ministered and prophesied and spoken to somebody's life that would, would you be able to say, Minister Davis, I want to give unto your bosom. I want to give unto you, your family, your, your, to, give, to bless your ministry back. Because, you know, you gave a book to us that said, woman, submit under man's mission, not under his foot. And it really blessed me in my dark times in my life when I was with my husband and he beat me. Minister Davis, you ministered to me when I was gay and I could have been a, 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 a lesbian or gay, but because of the word you brought, you ministered to me asking for nothing in return. And who the sun sets free is free indeed. And I was free from the Lord using you that day. I want to give back to you. Can you do that? I want to challenge the followers of Ambassador Chantrell Davis. I want to challenge you to even mine, because some of you are 
subscribers of ours as well. I'm, I, I want to challenge. I want to see when when I would have a need, when, when, when we as vessels of the Lord have a need, would you guys be there for us? That's all I'm saying. If we're here for you, this is what I'm saying. Thank you, Lord. If we're here for you, could you be here for us in a need? In a need. Now, Minister Davis have her channel. Preach be a voice, not an echo. I hope. <laughs> Y'all know that I just speak the truth. That's it. And if I lose subscribers because of it, again, I say it boldly. You never was a follower in the first place. But I'm speaking on behalf, I'm speaking to the body. I'm speaking to believers. Because if anybody unsubscribed, you would literally be a Christian. Because to be true followers of Christ, that means we follow in we follow Christ in the good and the bad. Amen. Come on, let's tell the truth and shame the devil. Come on. In a need. Our sister is in a need. Lost. A family member, her mother. Can we give back to her today? Can we give saying, thank you, Lord, for using this vessel? Can we give back in a need? What does it mean to be a follower, a true follower? Nikki, Ambassador Davis, I'm with you in your time of hurt, pain, and need because you're here for us. Never knowing what goes on behind the screen because, again, we never burden you guys with that. I don't know. Like I say, I'm anxious to know the outcome. And I, I may lose subscribers because of that, but... I have to be obedient, and I'm stepping out on faith. But the Lord is showing me that there is also going to come a time where we're going to be presented of what a real follower is. Are you your sister's keeper? Can you be there for her in her time of need? Go to her channel, preach be a voice, not an echo. Click on the latest video. Look for the PayPal amount. Whatever the Lord put on your heart to give, people. Give. Okay? Give. It's better to give than to receive. If you, you feel any <laughs> hardened of heart, don't give because it won't be blessed. It won't be blessed. Give. Let's show her that we love her. And that show her that you appreciate her and what she do. If you cannot give, literally cannot, and you know you can give, give. Come on now. But if you cannot, prayers, prayers, you guys, for strength. Strength. Okay? I love you guys. See you next video. Thanks.